it would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the X-Men Marathon. Today, I will look at one of the most lethal female adversaries of the X-Men, Yuriko Oyama, a.k.a. Lady Deathstrike. Deathstrike is best known as one of the sworn enemies of the X-Men Wolverine, and in most cases, she is a regular villain of the X-Men themselves. Deathstrike's original identity, Yuriko Oyama, first appeared in Daredevil number 197, and she was created by writer Denny O'Neill and artist Larry Hama. Her transition into the role of Deathstrike took place in Alpha Flight number 33, which was written by Bill Mantlo and Chris Claremont, and her initial design as Deathstrike was illustrated by artist Barry Windsor Smith, who would also go on to write the Weapon X storyline which was Wolverine's origin story on how he got his adamantium claws. A bit ironic, considering what I'm about to divulge to you concerning Deathstrike. Anyways, on to the character. Yuriko Oyama is the daughter of Kenji Oyama, whom some of you may know better as the vicious Yakuza crime boss Lord Darkwind. The man who... who is the man who is solely responsible for perfecting the process of bonding the adamantium substance to human bones. Being a former Japanese kamikaze pilot in World War II, Lord Darkwind was extremely abusive to Yuriko and her brothers, even to the point where her brothers were eventually killed by her father in one of his abusive outbursts. Secretly wanting to get revenge on her father, Yuriko teamed up with Daredevil to take her father down for good, seeing as Daredevil was also looking for Bullseye, who also had a strong connection with Lord Darkwind. Yuriko managed to kill her father, but the man she loved, a man named Kiro, who was a soldier in her father's army, killed himself right in front of, right in front of her in order to preserve his honor towards his master. When this happened, it sort of caused Yuriko to rethink her life and ultimately admire her father's accomplishments. So she decided to take control of her father's empire to track down the man named Wolverine, whom she believed had stolen the secret to the adamantium bonding process that her father created. Creating a samurai costume to wear, Yuriko decided to call herself Lady Deathstrike and traveled to Canada to find and capture Wolverine for his valuable adamantium bones. This doesn't end well, as Wolverine teams up with a couple of members of Alpha Flight, and ultimately Deathstrike is bitterly defeated. But in order to improve herself and finally kill Wolverine, Deathstrike seeks out the aid of a high-ranking member of the shadowy organization called the Hellfire Club, named Donald Pierce, who introduces Deathstrike to Spiral, an interdimensional female warrior who is one of the subjects of another X-Men villain, Mojo. We'll get to him eventually. Spiral drastically changes Deathstrike's body and makes her into a cyborg with adamantium limbs and claws to match Wolverine's. In return, Deathstrike vows to lead the group of cybernetically enhanced mercenaries under Pierce's command called the Reavers. Deathstrike and the Reavers waged many battles with specific groups of the X-Men. But during the 90s, an amazing event happened. The master of magnetism himself, Magneto, had successfully managed to completely remove the adamantium from Wolverine's bones. 
When this happened, Deathstrike decided to abandon her quest for revenge on Logan, and soon after this event, the Reavers would be destroyed from within. In the aftermath of when a, a time-traveling mutant criminal named Trevor Fitzroy unleashed an army of strange futuristic sentinels on the world, Deathstrike engaged in a battle with a mutant sniper named Domino. It's kind of a long and confusing storyline. All you need to know is that Deathstrike defeats Domino and the uh, Reaver base is just completely destroyed and Deathstrike is pretty much left to fend for herself. So, after the destruction of the Reaver base, Deathstrike was kind of left with very little purpose, and she lived a very nomadic existence, going with and, hire, and uh, working for anybody who would hire her, sometimes as a mercenary, sometimes she would be allied with a group of villains, sometimes she would run into Wolverine and maybe do battle with other Marvel characters, there were even a couple times where she actually teamed up with the X-Men for a temporary amount of time. But one thing that always that was the central theme of her character was that she believed that Wolverine had dishonored her and her family, and she always desired to get revenge, which never really made a whole lot of sense to me, because when Wolverine had the adamantium ripped out of his body, she lost interest in hunting him, and when he had the adamantium put back in his body, all of a sudden she cared about getting revenge on him again. I don't know. I just don't really feel like her character was really given a whole lot of forethought. But really, nothing else happens with Deathstrike that significantly alters her character and her backstory. Uh, this is a character that I've been getting a fair amount of requests for, considering that ever since she first appeared in the second X-Men movie, there's sort of been this aura of mystery and curiosity surrounding her. And of course, in the second X-Men movie, they sort of hint, maybe they they sort of su subtly hinted at the fact that maybe she and Wolverine had a history of some kind. Well, the reason why I did this video was to explain what that history is. And for what it's worth, I hope you enjoyed the video. Deathstrike isn't really one of my favorite characters, but she definitely has some appeal. She is a formidable adversary for Wolverine and the X-Men to uh, take on, so... As, a, as the first female character to be talking about on this marathon, I believe she fits pretty well. Alright, that's it for Lady Deathstrike, and I will move on to the next character. That's all for now.